there's no question in my mind, anyone that's observant, anyone that really knows the Bible, that we are in a period that's properly called the, the last days. We are in the days of chaos. These are tumultuous, turbulent, unprecedented times in my opinion. When we look at the rise of the volcanic activity, which are happening, all these ancient volcanoes are waking up. I mean, look at the earthquakes that are happening all over the globe. Again, unprecedented numbers. There's a spike in earthquake activity, there's a spike in volcanic activity. Uh, the bird and fish and animal die-offs, the uh, saber rattling, the wars and rumors of war, the nations against nations. Look at the one million, at, oh, one million, it's more like three million Muslims now, which have come out from the Middle East into Europe. That's an invasion force. Most of them wanting Sharia. They're not interested in simulating. Look at the rise of global jihad, of global terrorism. That, and there's no way to stop that. And the fact that the media doesn't cover any of this because the whole system is broken down. Humanity's gonna change in the next 10 years. And I don't know if that's all gonna be good though. Yeah, we are going to go through some very, very rough times. I, I can see this coming. Meanwhile, politicians on planet Earth are trying very, very hard to convince humanity that they control the weather. They're using genetics, they're using robotics, they're using you know, computer technology to enhance humans. And they're definitely doing it now. It's already happening. We are in a brave new world. Uh, where it will go will be the integration of some sort of a chip in, into the body where man and machine, there's that singularity point again, man and machine will become an amalgamation of the two. And uh, that's extremely dangerous in my opinion. We are looking at very turbulent times uh, globally. But the times are more exciting than they were at any time prior to this because we actually see the events of Scripture unfolding. We're going to participate in the climax of human history that's unfolding before us. You know, you can say, L.A., this is all doom and gloom, but you tell me where I'm going wrong. Just tell me where I'm going wrong. You go back 20 years ago, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. And so we need to recognize the days of the past are past. We need to recognize it's a different day we're going into, and we're going into a, into a culture in which being a Christian, a true biblical Christian, is going to be increasingly politically incorrect. The thing we really need to watch out for is how fast the culture changes and how fast our whole way of thinking changes because we're so steeped in the culture. Artificial intelligence is going to become smarter than humans then the, the artificial intelligence will start designing the new technology. In the book of Revelation, it talks about who can make war with the beast. Why? The beast knows everything about you that there is to know. The beast is more powerful than you. The beast has control over the world. And the beast has seemingly godlike powers. And we were warned that in the end times, remember the Antichrist comes with all signs and wonders. Evil's primary weapon is to disguise itself so you don't think it's there. And so he's predicting a godlike artificial intelligence that will come out of the singularity. The Bible is so, it's so revolutionary, relevant to this second. Where we are moving to, the book of Revelation, the prophecies of the scripture are coming true exactly the way God said they would, but not the way everybody thought they would. The Bible deals with DNA, genetics, interdimensional portals, fallen angels. It the Bible uh, explains the existence of super civilizations and occult technology. I believe that you and I are being plunged into a period of time about which the Bible says more than it does about any other period of time in history. The more you know of what the Bible actually says, and the more you know what's really going on, you become overwhelmed with the, uh, with the discovery that they're converging. But you have to find out what's really going on. And one of the realities uh, is that we live in an era, in a daytime, uh, in which it's hard to find out what's really going on because everything you get has been managed, tweaked, twisted. You come to the shocking realization that we are living indeed uh, in what uh, would be classically called the end times.